All right, everybody, happy holidays. I've got a little present for you here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you could use the Machine Plus as an external effects processor for other pieces of gear. So I've got my synthesizers and they are hooked up to my audio interface. And then I'm going to use the Machine Plus just to process the sound of those synthesizers to put on delay and reverb. And you could use other effects as well, but those are the main ones that I always find myself wanting with my external synths in the studio. This could also work in a live scenario. So you could use Machine Plus just to process the sound of certain instruments if you weren't using it to sequence stuff. So if you were doing that, of course, you'd set it up in a different way. But what we're talking about here is literally just using the Machine Plus as an effects processor. I found myself with all my synths hooked up with this new Arturia Audio Fuse 16 rig. And I just wanted some reverb and some delay at my fingertips, kind of ready to go, and decided, okay, I'll go pick up a pedal, because I've been thinking about that for a long time. So I've got this pedal now, this Delver by Universal Audio. Here's my Osmos by itself. And then if I turn on the Delver, we get this. Sounds so great. But if you have a Machine Plus kicking around, you can do the same thing with this. And in some ways it's even more powerful. So it's kind of looking at your gear and going, how can I get more out of it, right? I kept looking at this, the Line 6 Pod Go, and thinking if I can somehow take a stereo output out of my audio interface, bring it into this, and then take the stereo output of this and take it back into my audio interface, you know, use that as my effects processor, but it didn't work because we don't have a stereo input on this. We're so close. If we just had that, this, this thing could be so much more useful. We could use it for synths, right? So let's look at the Machine Plus, figure out how we can use it to process signal and then save your projects. You're gonna find that you can use Realm, which is quite literally one of my favorite reverbs on the software, on the computer, right? So that to have Realm on a portable device away from your computer is Awesome. I love that. You know, the sound of it is, is, in my opinion, rivals some of these effects pedals for sure. And then we've also got delays that we can also use in other reverbs in Machine. We can use any of those effects, save them as a preset, and then load that up. So if you were using this in a live scenario, you could even have time delays on each separate project ready to process. Right? So this one is timed and we're gonna see how it's timed as we go through it. So before I get too far into that, what do I think about the Machine Plus right now? Should you go pick one up? They are on sale, but I don't know what the roadmap is. And I really wish Native Instruments would tell us where Machine is going, where Machine Plus is going, just so people who are new to this stuff can make decisions that aren't gonna hurt them when something new comes out. Right? We've seen that debacle happen in other uh, devices in the last few months, and we just don't want that kind of scenario. So I'm hesitant to tell you to go pick up a Machine Plus, but they are on sale and you can probably get them used. And I think they're gonna hold their value just because they're something that is independent of a computer. <laughs> so the hookup goes as follows. You need some kind of audio interface that can send audio out so you're gonna to have to have more than just your stereo output to your speakers. So I've got it set up so my synth goes into the audio interface. I've got the output of the audio interface going to the input of my Machine Plus, and then I've got the output of my Machine Plus going on the back to the input on my audio interface. Now what I can do is set up those connections to be an auxiliary synth. So if I go over to my AudioFuse Control Center and every software program is gonna be a little bit different. So this is where it gets a little bit confusing, but I can set it up over here through the routing matrix. Some of them are actually even simpler in some ways than this, but I've got a machine plus left and right outputs right here. And they are going now, they are being routed to the auxiliary three and four. So auxiliary one and two is my Dell verb and auxiliary three and four are now going to the Machine Plus. So what that means is if I go over to the Mixer tab now and I go to Auxiliary 3 and 4, the more I crank this up, the more of the synthesizer signal goes to the Machine Plus. And the more you crank that up, the more reverb you're gonna hear. This is just how any effect has ever worked. And we've only got one set of inputs and outputs here. 
with Machine Plus. There isn't a way for us to process maybe a different channel with different effects. But what I'm going to show you is that you can use multiple effects and have them all ready to go here. So we've got round ready to go, we've got beat delay ready to go, and we've got a meta verb ready to go. And all you have to do is go shift bypass if you don't want to hear one of them. So if you decide you don't want delay either, just go shift bypass, no delay. Take it off. Right? So you have total control over which effects you've got, and if you want more of one or less of another, go over to the mixer. So I could just go simply turn down the delay here. So if you want more of the delay in this whole effects process that you've just set up, just crank it up louder than the realm. Any synthesizers that I have hooked up. I've got my Micro Freak, I've got my Sub 25, I've got the Poly Brute. I could have them all set up, just turn up that send just a little bit, and now a portion of that signal is going to the Machine Plus, getting the effects. So we're literally using the Machine Plus just as a hardware effects unit. It's pretty cool. So is this a good reason to buy a Machine Plus? Of course not, but if you think about the cost of an effects unit, I spent $400 Canadian on this Delverb. You can spend $1,100 on a Machine Plus, but if you start thinking of other ways you could actually use the hardware, maybe you have these dreams of playing live all the time and they don't pan out, and so your hardware sits there for a little bit, we'll start using it in other ways, because yes, it could be more powerful, and hopefully they give us something new in the future, but if you got one kicking around, tap into it. So now let's talk about setting up the Machine Plus from scratch. So follow these steps closely, because if you miss one, it's not gonna work for you. So I'm gonna go and start a new project. And first off, what you're gonna do is head on over to the first sound slot on your first group. And in this sound slot, we're gonna place an effect. Go to effect, and here's the coolest part about this. Not only can you use just the basic effects that come with machine, but you can also go over to VST effects, and we can see that Realm is in there, one of my favorite reverbs. So we've got Realm placed on this slot number one. Next thing we need to go is to the channel settings. You need to set the input at the source level. So you go sound, audio, this is on page one, and you're gonna say source is gonna come in from input one left and right. And that's gonna be the, the default inputs on the back of the machine plus. We're gonna set up more than one effect on sound slots here, so don't forget to do that for every sound slot that you do this whole little trick on. And that's it. Once you've done that, now what we can do is go over to the plug-in button, and if I turn that up, we can see that now signal is coming into the machine plus. So we don't have to do anything else at this point. We don't have to worry about the sampling thing, which would normally be worrying about in terms of monitoring and hearing the signal. I think it's because when we go to the channel settings here and go to sound and input, as soon as we do that, we are gonna make this connection live. If I set it to none right now, it doesn't matter how much I turn this up, none of it is going into this sound slot. So as soon as I set this to in one left and right, now we get to hear the sound of that reverb. So let's go over to the reverb and have a, have a listen to this. Another thing we should do on every effect that we put on is change the mix to 100%. So you're hearing 100% uh, of the signal going through realm. Now let's add some more effects because the other kind of effect that you're gonna probably wanna put on your synthesizers is delay. Okay, so if I want more than just reverb, go to a second sound slot, and on this sound slot, same thing, we click the plus button, and we make sure we're on effect. And then in this case, we're gonna go to internal, and that's where we have all of Machine's regular internal effects. So we could put a different type of reverb, we could put a metaverb, or the just the plain old bog standard reverb, or we can put some of these delays. So let's go to beat delay. So now I've got a delay on there, but we're not hearing it. And that's because I need to go to channel and go to audio source and go in one left and right. Because I need to make sure that that signal is running through on this channel as well as on the other one. So now I've got delay. 
And the coolest part about this, when you want to set the delay time, is that you can set it to beat divisions. On the Del Verb, you got to tap it in or go to an app. And it's just a bit of a pain, right? I can go in and be very precise with it. If I can, if I click on tempo here, I can just go right in and set the tempo to exact numbers if I want, right? So I can go to 70 beats per minute or whatever, have it line up with some other project. It's just brilliant. So now with the beat delay, let's set it to uh, two sixteenths or an eighth note. <laughs> There we go. So now we've got time delay. Really cool. I hope you guys are seeing how cool this is. And then what I would probably do is go to another sound slot, set that one to audio source input one and left, left and right. And then on this sound slot, I would go and add another effect. Let's put a meta verb, you know, a different type of, of reverb on there. So now I've got the meta verb, make sure that one's at 100%. And now what you can do is you can bypass the ones you don't want. So I go shift and bypass the realm. And now all we're hearing is the meta verb. So if you were using this live, you could save projects at different tempos with different effect setups. If you always want to delay at a certain tempo for one song, load up that template with your effects. Now you've got delay at the right tempo for this song, you go into the next song, and so on and so forth. So brilliant way to use Machine Plus in a totally different way than this thing was intended. So just to recap, you've got to send a signal from your synthesizers through your audio interface that comes to the inputs on the Machine Plus, and then I've got the outputs of the Machine Plus going to the input on the back of my audio interface. Once you've done that, you're able to send a portion of any signal into the Machine Plus Machine Plus puts the sound of the effects on it, and then that sound comes out of the output right here, just like an effects pedal would do. Now what you can do is turn up any source and say, send a portion of this road signal to the Machine Plus. So let's see what that sounds like. All of my gear now could be hooked up to this and ready to go at any point. So it kind of defeats the purpose of having a Del Verb. Am I going to get rid of it? Of course not. It's, you know, this I think was going to help somebody out there who's just looking for a similar thing that I was, you know, an effect processor for your live gear. Anyways, hope that was useful for you. And uh, if it was, you know, just leave me a nice comment and hit the like button and the subscribe and all of that nonsense and have yourself a great holiday and you know whatever you're celebrating and thanks so much for all the support you've shown me over the last year lots of exciting stuff coming up i am not working as much on the video game now so i'm going to have more time for fun videos like this you know production tips and i'm working on some jazz tunes and jazz hip hop kind of stuff i'm going to be doing the videos about that i'm also going to be doing a soundtrack so i'll have some videos about that so really exciting stuff coming up and uh, yeah, make sure you join the party. So thanks again. See you in the next video.